So welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Resident Evil 4, New Game Plus, and um, so I'm ready, so I'm counting down, 3, 2, 1, go. So I'm playing on New Game Plus, that's why I picked the Special 2 outfit, as you can see. And I'm demonstrating the first glitch right away, the Dipman glitch, after I killed the first enemy. So this is the Dipman glitch. I triggered this glitch with the Striker and it grants me increased walking speed. Uh, right now I'm 50% faster than before. And, uh, well, you guys requested that I kill the dog. Actually, you can't kill the dog in the game, but uh, I can fire a rocket on it. And it will flee. There he goes. All right. So, yeah, New Game Plus is very fast-paced. Um, a lot of running is involved with the dipping glitch. And uh, yeah, with the Dipman glitch and all the weapons like the PRL 412 and rocket launcher, I tried to finish the game as fast and efficient as possible. Okay, I need to switch back to the grenade. That's the village setup. I will explain it right away. Okay, what I did was to kill the first two enemies with a hand grenade, and that triggers a first spawn. But I killed those enemies with the rocket, which um, triggered the second spawn. And if you killed all enemies necessary, you can proceed. Um, the rocket at the end uh, was to decrease my health, to trigger the difficulty adjustment. And, um, well, if I trigger the difficulty adjustment, the game gets easier, less enemy will uh, be spawned, uh, I'll get decreased damage, and so on. I uh, might have failed it. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I tried to attempt the boulder skip. I didn't turn around too much. Um, but that's fine, actually. The boulder skip grants you to skip the entire cutscene if you um, blow yourself far enough. But oh well, that's fine. So my health right now is low enough to kill the first boss, Del Lago, in 10 hits instead of 11. That's basically the first demonstration of difficulty adjustment. So that's 1-1. One, one. All right, the dip and glitch has some downsides. Uh, if you kick up doors, the dip and glitch gets the, uh, disabled immediately. That's why I blew up both doors with the hand grenade, so I can maintain the Dipman glitch uh, the whole area. Uh, of course, the Dipman glitch gets disabled also if you get hit or something. That's why I have to avoid hits as good as possible. All right, didn't get grabbed here, which is good. One quick note here that I play basically on 30 FPS per second. Uh, on 60 frames per second, the enemies have a bigger hitbox. And this area is really a pain in the ass in 60 FPS. So that's, um, well, that's because uh, most enemy hit you here, and it's basically luck-based. Uh, many runs die here on 60 FPS, but on 30 it's not that bad. Oh, bad RNG here. Sometimes this enemy screams and I can pass by without shooting him. Alright, 
I'm fully invincible if I jump over something or kick up doors. That's why I didn't get hit. So like in the last chapter, I'm going to blow up the door, but this time I'm using the P.O.L. because I need the hand grenade for something else. This looks closer than it actually is. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and if you run around with a grenade uh, or empty-handed, you are 4.6% faster. So you basically maximize the walking speed if you use the dipping glitch and uh, equip the hand grenade afterwards. Of course, we don't have to buy things in New Game Plus. Uh, on New Game, you actually buy a lot of rocket launchers, especially for El Gigante at the beginning. Yeah, and that's what New Game Plus actually is, abusing the Dipman glitch um, a lot of times at the beginning to avoid enemies. And as you can see, cutscenes, uh, some cutscenes skip the uh, cancel the dipping glitch. Also, that's why I have to reactivate it. So for safety reasons, I threw a flash grenade there. Uh, you can jump over the bridge actually, but it's RNG based if the enemy hit you or not. But as you can see, my health is very low already because of the needed difficulty adjustment, and um, yeah, I don't want to heal just yet. All right, second boulder section is coming up. You can't skip that one, actually. All right. So I'm actually using an older strat here, um, the classic strat with the Chicago typewriter. Um, currently, most runners are using the hand cannon, but uh, right now I cannot recall the correct angle for the one shot um, because you want to destroy both trip wires. But now, basically, run killer number one is coming up, Del Lago. Let's hope that I get the best pattern possible. And as I mentioned before, because I blew up myself a couple of times, um, I only have to hit him 10 times instead of 11, which is a huge time saver. And uh, it's a lot safer because um, he dives um, like three times. And sometimes you get the bad. Oh man, what was that? That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, that dive was good. Okay, missed him two times, that's bad. All right. So, that's a good pattern, actually. It, it was a good pattern, but I missed him two times. So I'm definitely losing time here. But yeah, but not too much because I got the fast dive. Um, sometimes the sequence is coming up where he dives and then you have to look out for him. Okay, he should be dead now. Yeah, all right, that's not too bad actually. All right. 
So our first out of bound glitch is coming up next, the waterfall glitch, and I'm going to demonstrate it two times because I want to demonstrate the infinite fall glitch as well. Um, of course, you don't want that glitch in an actual run. I will demonstrate you why in a second. I'm going to reactivate the dipping glitch first. So that's basically the most overpowered weapon in the game, the PRO 412. You can unlock it by finishing the game on professional difficulty, and it will basically hit everything which is in range and one shot it. All right. So, experienced people uh, know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to trigger the switch right here in order to create a checkpoint because I want to demonstrate the infant fall glitch. I have to get closer to the monitor, actually. Uh, all right, that should be fine. Okay, if I jump down now, I should get the infinite fall glitch, and that's basically a soft lock. If you get that one, you have to reset them to the last checkpoint. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I can't do anything. But if you get the right position and move backwards correctly, you should get the waterfall glitch. Oh, no. Failed it this time. That should be good. All right. That's the first out of bound glitch in the game. And make sure to get the key item here, because if you don't get it and run to the, the door on the other side, uh, you can't proceed because you need the key item to ex get access to the church. All right. All right, second boss fight is coming up too. El Gigante, you can one-shot him with the uh, infinite uh, rocket launcher, but on new game, you will buy the um, regular rocket launcher anyway because uh, a fight without the rocket launcher would, would take way too much time. But thankfully, we don't have to collect treasures and stuff. All right. Basically, all boss fights work this way. I need this flash grenade for the next chapter. That's why I'm picking it right now, because I don't want to access the inventory later. A few more Frank Aziz are coming up here, but they are no problem at all. All right, on the Xbox 360 version, the game likes to, so um, to crash there, actually, but that's rarely the case. It happened to me twice, I believe. If that happens to you, just reinstall the game and it should be good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm picking up Ashley right now and um, you will notice something different. <laughs> Her night armor. Thanks to the armor, she is completely invincible, and I'm going to abuse that a couple of times. That's why um, you will save like 20 seconds or, well, 30, 40, I don't know, in the whole run. But I'm going to get back to that later. So as you can see, I'm not going to activate the dipping glitch because I, if I do, um, Ashley won't become faster. But actually, there are a couple of areas where I can use the dipping glitch. Because it's slightly faster, like one or two seconds faster. Um, it's coming up in the next chapter, actually. All right. 
So right here I had to wait for her because if you are too fast and you are too much apart, the game will say you can't leave Ashley behind. Um, so I have to wait until she catches up to me. Alright. I'm way too fast for those guys. That was a flash grenade for the guy behind the ladder to make it safe. Alright, just want to make sure that Ashley catches up. Alright, we're good. Yeah, that hurts Leon. Just faking him out. Alright. All right, the cabin fight is coming up next. Uh, in the cabin, you have to kill 40 Ganados as fast as possible, and this fight is very trivial in New Game Plus. You just have to use the the rocket launcher. Right. I'm just going to spawn kill all the enemies. You actually have to aim a little bit. It's not useful if you just uh, be too fast. If you are just too fast. All right. So just had to make sure that Le uh, Lewis can kill all of the Ganals on his side. That was that was a good cavern actually. Not a perfect one, but it was good. On new game this part is way harder of course. Especially on pro difficulty. Many runs die there. Well oh well. Okay, this is the first time where I actually used the Dipman glitch while Ashley is here. And this is the hand cannon, the strongest magnum in the game. You can unlock it by um, finishing the mercenaries uh, completely, like getting five stars on every stage. I'm still not used to the, the part of the Dipman glitchy here, but that's fine. And yeah, one note here. On the German version, you cannot play the Mercenaries because it got cut out. Um, if that's the case, if you have the German version of the game, you can unlock the hand cannon by finishing separate ways or assignment 8. I'm not entirely sure anymore. But yeah, that's pretty convenient for us. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a few more hits here because I want to adjust the difficulty for chapter 3 1 again. Yeah, one more. Alright. Alright, we're good. So, a few more. And yeah, that was a perfect demonstration that Ashley is completely invincible. That's enough. So I just wanted to make sure that um, in chapter 3 1 that less enemies spawn, uh, less enemies spawn, and um, their hit her hitbox is actually um, not that big, but I will demonstrate it later. Follow. You can decrease the difficulty by um, decreasing your accuracy as well, but it won't have a huge effect. In 2014 or 13, um, we died intentionally in New Game to lower the difficulty for 3-1, but we don't do that anymore. It's way too, way too slow. All right, just have to wait until Ashley arrives. Follow me. 
Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. Okay. I can screw around with Ashley here because um, a cutscene gets triggered and I don't have to wait for Ashley. Alright. On the Steam version, there's actually a glitch that you can receive the eye before the window um, uh, tears apart. If that happens, um, you basically soft, you are basically soft locked, and you have to reset the game or the area. I don't know, but that cannot happen on Xbox, as far as I know. All right, we are going to use the dip English here again because Ashley's walking speed is a little bit faster than Leon's. So we are going to save a little bit more time, which makes absolutely no sense because of her night armor. All right. And here we go. So we are done with the village and we'll proceed to the castle of Salazar now. So we are going to kill the driver of the truck with the flash grenade. Right. I could have killed him with something else, but I want the advantage of the faster walking speed with the grenade. Chapter 3 1. Uh, in the past, it was one of the hardest chapters in the game, but thanks to the difficulty adjustment strategies we developed, uh, it's way easier now. So if the difficulty is low enough, all of the enemies are very slow as well, they are not running. And yeah, exactly that guy. If that, if the difficulty is way too high, um, the zealot will run at you. Which is not that bad um, right there, but it's an indicator that you didn't decrease the difficulty enough. But I'll get back to that once I am in the water hall. Do we have time for a quick donation? Sure, go ahead. Okay, we have a $2 anonymous donation saying Sunblade RE4 Legend. No diggity doubt. No diggity no doubt. <laughs> Thank you, man. Alright. Okay, I'm going to leave Ashley here because I, she has to open the door later for me because I want to maintain the dipping glitch. And yeah, as you can see, the enemies didn't hit me at all. That's because the difficulty was low enough. They are not turning around when they are trying to hit me, which is good. And right now I want to flash the enemies so I can pass by without losing the dipping glitch. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, that's fine, actually. Oh no, I get hit again. Yeah, okay, screw that. That was just bad luck. But yeah, that happens in Resident Evil 4. You need a ton of good RNG to get, uh, pull off a great run.
That was a good cutscene skip, actually. Alright, now we are heading towards uh, Wolverine. <laughs> but let me get the incendiary gen grenade first, because I want to demonstrate the Red Zelig glitch later. Yeah. Mistimed it. Of course, we are killing him with one shot. I can't recall his actual name, by the way. Follow me. So because I decreased the difficulty enough, uh, both archers at the top right and top left are not, um, not there, which is pretty good. Let's see if I get the flawless water hall. Nah, definitely not flawless. Alright. So right there you saw that I abused her invincibility because only one character can hit. It can be hit per her attack. Oh, that was close, but ah, good. I'll take that. So now it's just chill. Uh, Ashley has to use the cranks in order to um, to activate the bridges on the other side, and that takes a while. I have to defend her and kill other enemies who come towards me, but that's not a big deal with the PRL. Actually, it's pretty straightforward. I'll use the chance and lower the difficulty even more in this area because I have the time to do it. So one enemy spawns from this side and I have to kill him, so I have enough time to decrease the difficulty. I guess I'll take three or four hits. Go ahead, my friend, let it rip. Alright, that's enough. I'll pick up the first aid spray. What's funny is, is that the enemies who spawn in this area are not trying to chase me actually. They are walking the same path as I did in this area. I wanted to demonstrate it. Oh, give me one second. Alright, gotcha. Um, I want to wanted to demonstrate it right away, but um, I killed him ac accidentally. Um, if I didn't kill him, he would have accessed the door where I got the first aid spray, which is pretty stupid. I don't know why the AI, AI does that. But uh, yeah, just so you know. Alright, the uh, Novistados are coming up. Um, I guess the most annoying enemy type in the game. If you look away with the camera, um, with the right analog stick, they cannot use their quick time event attack, which disables the Dipman glitch. And they are not trying to grab you, actually. 
Ah, good RNG. Alright, that's the sewers glitch. A small out of bound glitch which grants me to maintain the dipping glitch until this point. Alright. You have to watch out there, the um, hitbox of those blades are active for a pretty long time. If you walk up too fast, you will die instantly. And that happens during a run. It happened to me like three or four times. Uh, that hurts pretty bad if you have like gold splits all over the place. Next up is the Red Zealot glitch. You don't use that one actually uh, on Yugen Plus. Oh, well, you can use it and it will save time, but it's very risky and we are not using that one. But it's very essential in New Game. Okay, let me see if I can pull it off. Uh, yeah, it should be, yeah. All right, as you can see, the Red Zealot get bur gets burned within the cutscene and he's not able to run away. Um, which grants me that I can kill him right there. If you cancel the cutscene, um, he actually spawns to the point where he runs to. The main reason you do that is because uh, it's it's hard to hit a moving target with a with a sniper, and uh, this glitch makes the new gun run safer at this point and way faster. But yeah, on, on, on New Game Plus, there's no need to do it. It's very fancy and you save like one or two seconds, but it's not worth the risk. Thanks to the dipping glitch, I'm way too fast for those. The startup frames of their attacks are way too long, uh, way too high. All right, that's fine. So on the GameCube version of the game, um, you can use the TMP glitch, uh, which grants you to shoot up logs from the other side of the door, and. That glitch grants you to skip the entire garden maze, but unfortunately, uh, it only works in the GameCube version of the game. Um, yeah. But yeah, the garden maze is uh, pretty straightforward and easy to do. Let's see if the Frank Razis are nice to me. Because uh, right at the end of the garden maze, there are thro uh, three or four uh, dogs coming up, and sometimes one or two are blocking your path, and the third dog is going to attack you. Well, it doesn't happen regularly, but uh, it happens once in a time. I wouldn't be surprised if it happens right now, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, we're good. We're good. Hello, Ada. Bye, Ada.
Yeah, the funny thing is that the left enemy always dies from the light shot of the PRL. I don't know why. Oh, that was pretty good. Alright, fair enough. Ah, that is... that is bad actually, yeah. Uh, Alright. I wanted, I wanted them to stay there at the door. I believe we have a new strategy for this room. Uh, but I'm not that up to date right now. Alright. So I just have to kill all the enemies so Ashley can go through the door. All right, perfect. The door's locked. I can't open it. Yeah, you get the idea. Ah, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Yeah. Should be good now. Ah, I didn't get the difficulty adjustment shot here, but that's not too bad. Uh, what I did there was to shoot Ashley right before she picked up the, the key, show, uh, so the animation gets cancelled and she can go to the door right away, which saves like two seconds, approximately. So yeah, that's the only part in the game where you can control Ashley. Um, just a little maze and a puzzle at the end. Pretty straightforward. Thanks to the armor, she can't get killed or get damaged at all. Um, all demonstrated on my way back. And that's basically the main reason... This chapter is basically the main reason why you have the, the special 2 outfit. Actually, in the new game run, you have to use the QTE here, right there. But if you use it, and I will demonstrate it right now, um, it takes way too much time. She falls down on her ass, and uh, it takes way too much time for her to recover. That's why you get hit intentionally. Where well, you don't take damage, uh, take damage at all, so it's fine. So now the longest chapter in the game is coming up, 4-1. I don't know how long it is. I think slightly below 10 minutes. Um, maybe someone in the chat can correct me if I'm wrong. It's definitely in the longest one.
Yeah, this chapter is pretty PRL heavy. It really comes in handy in this chapter. Especially in, the, in this part. In new game, you have to use the semi-auto rifle and... You, well, you're pretty low on ammo if you have bad luck. And if you miss like two or three shots right there, the run could be over if you have like bad item management, but that never happens on New Game Plus, obviously. Ooh, I'm starting to get really, really tired. I got up like at 2 a.m. Uh, took a ride with the with the train, which took one hour, and uh, yeah. It's taking its toll right now, but yeah, we should be good. Yeah, 40 minutes, that's fine. So, I don't know if it's still valid, but as far as I can recall, we have... Um, RE4 Central has uploaded a video about this gate, and if you find a way to skip this gate um, with a glitch with, which is redoable constantly, and without an emulator, you get rewarded with money. I don't know how much it is, actually. Maybe someone in the chat can link the video to you. Maybe some somebody gets encouraged to. Oh my god, I, I I don't recall this puzzle right now, but yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did complete bullshit here. I basically used the old and new strat combined, but completely shitty. But that's fine. Yeah, that happens if you don't play this category very often. The last time I played this was November last year. Okay, somebody has to check it. Was I stupid and didn't hit the lock? Because from my point of view, I hit the lock with the knife. Huh. Wait. All right, so at this point, I just take the hits because recovering, or well, triggering the quick time event takes way too much time. Leon does a backflip and yeah, I want to lower the difficulty as well. I and can actually heal myself in this area. Full health, so it's fine. It's basically a difficult adjustment for free. So Ashley will catch up to me later. Just want to take my time and kill those enemies. Yeah, this room is a pain in the ass on Yugen Pro, but yeah. Ah, oh, good. 
good. We're good. So on easy difficulty you don't have to play this part, actually. Let's see if I got all of the... Of course not! Oh. Yeah, sometimes it happens that you don't hit all of the... Um, blocks. Ah, come on. Yeah, okay. We're good. So now we're getting to the point where you can actually buy the striker for the dip English. So if you play on new game, you uh, speak to this merchant and buy the striker from him. So now, if I'm a little bit lucky and able to pull it off, I can demonstrate you. Well, it's n is it a glitch? Well, it's a trick. Um, and it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Verdugo, um, the right hand of Salazar, will attack you, and a few quick time events will be available for triggering. But uh, I'll try to avoid them. All right. All right, perfect. Um, you have to activate the Dipman glitch and then stop at the right frame so he just misses you. And uh, that grants you to, that you can maintain the Dipman glitch all the way through. Saves a good amount of time actually, in a few seconds, like 10 seconds or something. Well, I don't know if it's a one framer, but uh, the timing is pretty tight. So on the NTC version of the game, you cannot destroy the boulder with a rocket launcher. You have to pick up the key, um, key item, the dynamite. Um, yeah, but we don't have this obstacle in the PAL version. 
So right here I'm going to trigger a glitch which grants you to skip this well semi boss fight. Um, it actually wastes time in New Game Plus because it takes time to execute the glitch. But on New Game uh, you don't have enough money to buy um, a second lo rocket launcher. Well, you, well, you have actually the money, but uh, you can't buy um, two rocket launchers in this game. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm out of bounds, and uh, two uh, El Gigantes are not spawning. But yeah, as I said, it wastes time in New Game Plus. You actually kill them with a, with an infinite rocket launcher. One of the more annoying rooms, the final Novistador room. Well, on a segmented run, you just uh, just run through with, with like one or two flash grenades. Oh no, you don't don't even use a flash grenade there. Just hope for a good amount of RNG. But yeah, since we are on a single segment run, I will kill them all. Should be good, actually. Good. All right. If your timing is good enough, you don't have to wait there, actually, thanks to the dipping glitch. Saves a couple of seconds. So 4-3, rather interesting chapter, especially for the Steam version 60 FPS, because you can skip the entire minecarts section with an out-of-bound glitch, which doesn't work uh, on any other version, unfortunately. But uh, a lot of people uploaded speedruns and tutorials about the minecart skip. You can look it up there. It's a very impressive out-of-bound glitch, which saves 90 to 100 seconds. Um, pretty, pretty cool glitch. So this is the this is the part where which I hate the most, I believe, um, because I really fear the. Oh, son of a... Okay. Yeah, I really fear the um, Dr. Salvador at the top. Because if you don't kill him, um, there is a good chance that he might kill you um, if you're not uh, if you're not flashing him. But uh, yeah, this time I'm good. The last time I remember playing this game, I died there. All right. So on the Steam version, you don't have to do this part at all. Um, on any other version, this part is just chill. So world record in this category is uh, 127, 30 something I believe by Audio79, I think. Uh, my PB is actually 128, 34 something, yeah, it might be it. 
Um, yeah, but the, that run is pretty outdated. Um, it, it's from 2015, I think, which uses older strats. I might improve this run later. But yeah, nowadays you only play the Steam version thanks to the higher frame rate and uh, especially the, the minecart skip which saves a ton of time. Yeah, and I encourage all of you to play the Steam version if possible. Well, actually, I like this part because on, on this point you can... Well, I was able to go to the toilet. If you have... If I had an urge to pee. But yeah, on the Steam version it's not possible anymore. So I don't know why that happens, but you heard a scream actually. Um, but nobody was on the, the minecart at all. I think it's a bug. So on this side, there's actually hidden money, in case you don't know. Unfortunately, it's not much, so it's not worth your time in a speedrun actually. But some of you, some of you might know, uh, might want to know about it. So actually there is a glitch in this room too, the Salazar statue glitch, but it's not useful for a speedrun yet. Um, if you move around correctly and jump, jump correctly, you can float in the air. Oh, what the fuck have I done? Oh man. Pretty slow, but that's all right. So I'm wondering why I received 10 cannon armor, um, ammo. Makes absolutely no sense since I have infinite ammo for my hand cannon.
So I just have to spawn kill the red zealots. Because if two red zealots reach the bottom of the elevator, the elevator will stop. On pro difficulty, it's enough if only one red zealot reaches the bottom. So, obviously, you want to make sure that they are dying before they touch the floor. On new game, it's actually not possible, but you... Well, it is possible with a good strat, um, but it's pretty tough. Alright, up next is the Salazar boss fight. Uh, of course, we are trying to skip this one with an out of bound glitch, which was found by Derek Taylor a few, few years ago. Um, pretty good for new game too, so you don't have to buy a rocket launcher for this boss fight. Saves a good amount of money. 30,000 to be exact. Um, the dip and glitch is necessary in order to make it work. Let's see if I can get it first try. I have to get more up close to the monitor. Alright, got it. So I float up in the air and can leave this area without killing him. I can re-enter the area and gr still grab the money. Yeah, and the boss fight restarts without any music. But uh, yeah, pretty cool glitch. Saves like 15 seconds on New Game Plus. And even more on New Game, thanks for the money. All right, we finished the castle and now we are heading to 5-1, which starts off with the big out of bound glitch. Uh, not as big as the minecarts give, but still pretty big. Yeah, heading towards a 132 something in this run. I expected that. But that's fine as long as we are reaching the estimate. Alright, that should be it. Yeah, that's the island float glitch, which grants you to skip the entire laser puzzle on this island. If you clip up here, you can go through the wall and then exit the entire area. Saves about 45 seconds. Not entirely sure. Uh, one quick note here is that all of bound glitches except the um, except the minecart skip and the lava hall glitch uh, do not work on 60 FPS due to the higher frame rate. But uh, 60 FPS is still faster due to the higher frame rate and the minecart skip and way faster loading times on Steam. Especially if you can use an SSD. That was pretty bad actually. It happened to me yesterday during a practice run too. I was like, no, I'm not fucking up this, this, <laughs> this time and it happened. <laughs> but that's fine. Let's count that as difficulty adjustment. <laughs> all right, a minor trick. Actually, you have to kill all those enemies before you can proceed, but thanks to the dipping glitch, you can uh, run under the garage door, which has a couple of seconds. So everyone's favorite enemy is coming up next, the Regeneradores.
but they are pretty easy to avoid. Thanks to the high recovery. Those minor errors, like one frame errors <laughs> sometimes, that happens. That strategy was found by AM, a former French New Game Pro runner. Uh, I'd like to use it in a run. If you don't want to invest a flash grenade, it's fine. Right. Yeah, precise movement is needed here in order to Get by those enemies flawlessly. First Iron Maiden. If you go straight forward, the archers will hit you, so make sure that you go a little bit to the right. <laughs> Though I believe it was uh, not that close, actually. Alright, Ashley, stand up. Sometimes Ashley gets stuck here and then you lose a ton of time. That happens quite a lot in New Game Plus. Right. Yeah, you will notice a minor sound bug here. I thought it was uh, not enough time for me to run away, but yeah. we got lucky there, I guess. So I'm not going to sing the Wrecking Ball song here. <laughs> the runner before me did that. Just imagine Miley Cyrus on the Wrecking Ball. Should be fine. So you already noticed that I used the wait follow me commands to provoke those enemies. Um, it's pretty useful. Wait. Wait. 
Thank you, Ashley. So, minor glitch for you. Whip. Ashley can go out of bounds too. So, on the German PAL version um, for the Nintendo GameCube, the timing for the puzzle I just did is way way stricter I don't know why um, maybe some some of you guys can try it out it's pretty stupid all right this is a chill section also good chance to get a drink or something So a pretty good example of how stupid the AI is in this game. Running around in, in, in circles and such. Attacking thin air. Interesting, both enemies didn't spawn here. What? Okay, um, the difficulty is way higher than I expected. Yeah, it's... whoa, alright. That cost a little bit of time, but that's fine. Oh, huh, that's weird. So the reason why I picked the Chicago typewriter is to demonstrate you a little gimmick if you combine it with the special two outfit. Shout out to Snow, Ari Snow. So if you try to reload the weapon, um, yeah, Leon is going to show off. But there is an uh, even cooler animation. All right. We'll save it for the best moment. Yeah, that happens if you try to reload the weapon three times and on the fourth time you will do that animation. Yeah, just a cool gimmick 
we intend to use it on New Game Plus since it won't waste time. So chapter 5-3, basically second last chapter. So our favorite friend Jack Cross is coming up next and the longest QTE sequence in the game, which is unfortunately unskippable. Well, the difficulty is pretty high, my god. So unfortunately, Capcom didn't implement the special two outward within the cutscenes, which is very yeah unfortunate. They will never fix it, I guess. And yeah, I suggest that you play without subtitles, or well, basically play on English, because especially on older versions, the game has to load the subtitles and. You will definitely lose some seconds in this area if you play with German or French subtitles. You're the one who kidnapped Ashley. I don't know if it counts for the newer versions, but I noticed it on Wii and GameCube. On the Japanese GameCube version, um, well, there is a feature on professional difficulty. If you misclick the quick time event, uh, you will die instantly. But that only counts for the Japanese GameCube version. So on normal and, and pro, on any other version, you can just mash like every button combination and you will always get it if you're not too stupid. So even now you cannot skip this cutscene. Very, very annoying, especially in segmented runs. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here. Maybe some other time. I was kind of surprised that I can see daylight or daylight outside. I thought like what just happened, but uh, yeah. Good. The next glitch is coming up. The laser skip, laser glitch. What is the exact name? I don't know. See for yourself. Um, I just skipped the last part of lasers by just switching the weapon at the exact time. Um, pretty useful. Saves a couple of seconds. Basically the final useful glitch in the game, but I will show off one more. I think the most popular glitch in the game. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll save it for later. I want to keep the surprise for those who don't know. Alright, uh, next boss fight is coming up, U3. Very RNG heavy enemy. Alright, 
out. Looking good so far. All right. So I'm using the blast to uh, open up the door from the other side. Saves 20 seconds, I believe. Uh, on new game, you're just using a grenade. On GameCube, you can you make use of the TMP glitch. You just have to get the TMP with the stalk, and then you clip through the animation. And then you can shoot the lock from the other side. It's actually faster to use two rockets, but yeah, just for the style, I'm using the knife. All right, Cross is up next. And then we will head towards the final chapter of the game. Um, the most annoying chapter in the game, I think, 5-4. You need so much luck, so much RNG. Um, yeah, pretty annoying. Yeah, ob obviously those Ganados cannot reach me. I'm way too fast for them. That's a little trick. If you run against the wall, he will never hit you if he uses TMP. So I will stun lock myself right there with the rocket, so I don't get uh, stunned with um, I don't get stunned from the flash grenade. That saves a couple of seconds. On New Game Pro, you can actually die from one hit there. It's pretty bad if he uses the bow. It's not actually good. So, um, with the hand cannon, you can actually one shot Krauser right there and proceed to this area. But um, it's pretty risky and I uh, don't want to lose any more time. That's why I stick to the old strat. Yeah, don't respond here. It, you will only lose time. Okay, the difficulty was actually lower, but yeah, that makes sense because I got hit very often in 5-3. If I would have um, knew that beforehand, I would just knifed him for style reasons. But yeah, not too bad. <coughs> Alright, second last chapter in the entire game, or basically the final chapter. I don't count in 6-1, it's way too short. It's just the final boss. But uh, yeah, most annoying chapter in the game. 
Let's finish this. Yeah, obviously the ray doesn't become faster. Didn't get hit? Why? That's unfortunate. Oh, it's so annoying. I think I misplaced the first PRL shot. Oh, that was like... It's actually kind of rough now because I don't have any healing items, items left, but I won't die. Don't worry. That's basically the last part of the game. Okay, um, that was unexpected.
So there's a healing item coming up, so I'm fine. I have to wait a little bit because if you cancel the cutscene too early, um, Ashley could have been stuck there. Yeah, final boss time. So I promised one final glitch for you. You'll get it. See for yourself. Yeah, that's because of the Dipman glitch. So, time is coming up. Um, I'll tell you. A little bit of wave race here. You can do the stuns if you press L and R simultaneously right before you jump. And time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this well New Game Plus demonstration. Uh, I built in some glitches which waste time, but yeah, it's uh, fun to watch. Uh, like, as expected, 132 or 133. Um, yeah, like P PB is 128, world record is 127. Uh, yeah, I'm content with this. I hope you guys had fun. This is Resident Evil 4. My name is Sunblade, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. All right, Sunblade. All right, Sunblade.